Hi there, this is Fixed It. I plan to do some kite flying tomorrow and I haven't used this kite for some time and it was buried in my garage until recently until I built this huge workbench and I found it. Sadly, what's happened to it is that the rubber parts that they had on them are completely perished. And it's this part here, the top of the kite where the three pieces join, they've all perished away. And this other stay here as well has all broken. I'm hoping at some stage I'll be able to get some replacement parts, but I want to go kite flying tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is heat up some polymorph, which is a low temperature, extremely hard plastic. And I'm going to slot these things back into place where they were, basically, before they broke. And then I plan to wrap some polymorph around the two support pieces first just to see how well it works and then if that works I will then do the top piece up here and seal that. Uh, I need to get on and do this because as I say I'm hoping to use this kite tomorrow. If you haven't seen my previous video on heating polymorph then I suggest that you have a quick look at it now uh, before continuing. But what I'm actually going to do is I've got a heat gun here so I'm just going to get some polymorph pellets together and then heat them and then once they're soft I will then use them for the modelling. I obviously don't want to get any heat on the sail because heat on the sail will melt it. I'm using a uh, Huaco 858D which I got off eBay and it's a really really useful piece of kit to have and in fact I need to get another one they do a version that's actually got a soldering iron attached to it so let's get the polymorph out so I've set the heat gun to 100 degrees obviously don't go touching the tip once it's hot but at 100 degrees you just get a warm temperature um, close up and then as you place it back on the stand it turns itself off again so I've aligned this back to the position it was in and now what I need to do is just heat some of this polymorph. Basically it starts off white and as you heat it up it turns completely clear. I need to turn that temperature up. As you can see a large section of it is turning completely translucent. So just tip the loose bits out of the way and heat this lot. Okay, that seems to be in a, a good state, so I can now pick this up. As you can see, now what I want to do is to just press this out and then wrap this around the broken part and then also over the top. So I'm completely surrounding the broken part. Okay, so I've heated the polymorph. What I'm going to do is to pull off a piece here and then spread it out like that. And then just heat that one some more. Lift that up and then I'm going to wrap that around the part that's broken off. I'm going to wrap it quite tightly. Okay, like that. And then just let that cool a bit. And meanwhile, I'll heat the next piece. Spread that out. As you can see, despite the fact that we're operating at a reasonably high temperature, this stuff is handleable, <laughs> which is amazing for plastic because quite often plastic gets so hot that it'll basically sear onto your skin and cause these terrible burns. Whereas this stuff is pretty safe because of the low temperatures. Okay, and I'm going to take this and put it over the top 
like that and squeegee down. And there we have it. It's not the prettiest of uh, fixes, but once that cools, it goes thick white and it's really, really hard. And that won't be coming off anytime soon. Right, so now mix up some more and do the other side. So likewise on this one, let's stretch it out. Okay, so I put the first piece on this, and let me now just put this piece over and round the top and spread it about so I can get a good all round seal and lots of strength in that. As always, when you're repairing things with plastic, you never end up with the nicest looking job, but what you want is something that's absolutely functional and strong. And as we can see here at the other side, that is now absolutely rock solid and it's not going anywhere. So that one's now repaired. And when this one here turns white, it will be the same. And it's in a semi-hot state, try not to mess with it too much because otherwise, like when you push your skin, it'll kind of fold over on itself and won't be as effective. So get it in place while it's very warm. If you need to, obviously, you can come along with heat source and uh, just reheat it. The really great thing about this this glue is that you can put it on and take it off as often as you like it makes absolutely no difference at all to the glue the good thing about this plastic is you can put it on take it off put it on take it off as often as you like until you actually get a good job and that's basically what I've done here right so now what I need to do is to turn the kite around and to do the top piece which will be a bit more difficult How I'm going to do this, I'm going to put polymorph on this section here and completely enclose it in polymorph and then I will do polymorph on each of the other pieces and then what I'll do is I'll bring the three of them together and heat them with the heat gun so I can actually line them up and make sure that they're all stuck together. Once that's done, I'll then put some more polymorph around the outside edge. I'm actually going to keep these rubber ends on here, even though they'll be enclosed in the polymorph plastic. They'll provide some impact resistance if the kite comes down. I've taken the micro nozzle off the end of this because it was taking too long. And because it was such a narrow beam, so that's a much wider beam now. And I'll just heat this new piece of polymorph. The other thing with polymorph is it shrinks when it cools so it will uh, quite often go tightly round an object so that's one of them done just wrap this around here do the next one make sure it's fully enclosed okay next one done just one more to go now and here's the third one okay so actually I think I put a bit too much on there let me just take some of that off with that one too much on it so as I said you literally just pull the polymorph off while it's hot and remodel it oops <laughs> as you see it sticks to itself really really easily okay let me go around here I'll just put that on there make sure it comes all the way down so that it's strong okay so now we have them and what I'm going to do is to just let them cool a little bit um, because I don't want them all completely melting I just want to melt the bits that I need to stick together. As you can see, these bits are now 
absolutely rock hard. So those are fixed. I'll just get this one fixed in a second. And as I said, even though these may have appeared baggy to start with, the polymorph shrinks. Um, and as it shrinks, of course, it all goes together nicely. So then, let's have a look. So I need basically that one, that one and that one. It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze to get all three of them together in that spot. So I need them together so that they line up nicely. Otherwise the kite may fly a bit skew with. It may fly a bit skew with anyway, but that's what stunt kites are for. 